Remarkably, the entire history of the Catholic Church is prefigured by the entire history of Israel in the Old Testament in chronological order. The spoliation of the Papal States is part of this amazing story and is prefigured in the Old Testament by the Babylonian captivity. For a complete video with scriptural references and other source documentation, please refer to our video, Spoliation of the, Sp of the Papal States in the Old Testament. Here is a short summary of the parallels between the spoliation of the Papal States and the Babylonian captivity. During the period following the rebellion of the ten northern tribes of Israel, both the north and the south sought to make alliances with foreign powers to help sh to ensure their security against their fellow Israelite enemies. Judah made an unholy alliance with the Assyrian Empire. Isaiah the prophet was very much opposed to such an alliance. During the period following the Protestant Revolt, both the Holy Roman Empire and its enemies sought to make alliances with foreign powers. The Catholic country of France formed an alliance with the Ottoman Turks. This alliance was looked on as a disgrace since the Ottomans were responsible for the death and cruel treatment of such a vast amount of Christians. The Assyrian Empire eventually declined. The next power to rise was Babylon, who was led by the great conqueror Nebuchadnezzar. It was Nebuchadnezzar that subdued all the kings and empires in the land around Israel. It was Nebuchadnezzar who exiled the kings of Judah and took away the temporal power of the Jews. The Ottoman Empire that threatened Europe also eventually declined. However, Europe was now threatened by secular powers that were growing from within Europe. Napoleon rose to power and in a short time he conquered almost all of Europe. He captured two popes and he took away the church's temporal power. King Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem and deposed Jeconiah, the king of Judah. He carried Jeconiah away and brought him to Babylon. Jeconiah would never re re return again to Jerusalem. Napoleon invaded Rome and captured Pope Pius VI. He was taken away as a prisoner. He was never to return again to Rome, and he died in exile. After Jeconiah was taken captive by Nebuchadnezzar, his uncle Zedekiah was put on the throne. Zedekiah eventually rebelled against Nebuchadnezzar, who responded by, by besieging Jerusalem and taking Zedekiah as a captive, and he was brought to Babylon. After Pope Pius VI was taken captive by Napoleon and died in exile, Pope Pius VII ascended to the papal throne. However, some years later, Pope Pius VII refused to capitulate to Napoleon. Pope Pius VII was captured and taken prisoner into Napoleon's custody. When Nebuchadnezzar invaded and conquered Judah, that ended the sovereignty of Judah as an independent nation. Although they would be later granted autonomy under King Cyrus, they were still a vassal state of the Persian Empire and owed their allegiance to Persia. Zedekiah, who was the last king of Judah, rebelled against Nebuchadnezzar, who responded by ending the temporal power of Zedekiah. When the Papal States were taken in 1870 by the Italian government, that ended Church's sovereignty over its own land. The Church would be granted autonomy later on with the Lateran Treaty. However, as part of the Lateran Treaty, bishops had to swear allegiance to the Italian state before taking their diocese. Pope Pius IX was the last Pope to reign over the Papal States. He called the First Vatican Council, which proclaimed the primacy of the Pope, and papal infallibility. The Council had to be stopped because the Kingdom of Italy took the Papal States away from the Church. 
the Davidic kingdom started with its founder, King David. His descendants reigned from Judah in an unbroken line until the last Judean king, Zedekiah, was deposed by Nebuchadnezzar. Never again would a Judean king rule from Jerusalem. The Holy Roman Empire started with its founder, Charlemagne. His descendants reigned and protected the Catholic Church in an unbroken line until the last Holy Roman Emperor, Francis II, was deposed by Napoleon. Never again would there be a Holy Roman Emperor. During the siege of Jerusalem in 587 BC, Nebuchadnezzar breached the walls and his troops poured through the breach to take the city of Jerusalem by force. During the siege of Rome on September 20th, 1870, the Italian troops breached the Aurelian walls near Porta Pia. Their troops entered through the breach and took the remaining papal states of Rome by force. Just prior to the invasion of Babylon and the destruction of the temple, the prophet Jeremiah hid the Ark of the Covenant in a cave to protect it from invaders. Just prior to the first round of papal state invasions in 1860, Our Lady of Lourdes appeared in France in 1858. Our Lady of Lourdes appeared in a cave. <laughs>